Alright then. But let's go slap a choice item onto this guy. We've got a new choice bander over here, so let's actually play around with this guy. I haven't really gotten to use this guy a lot, but the few times that I have used him, he's been fairly effective for me, so I want to try out using this guy more. Um, our Tapu Bolo isn't, or our Taco Bolo isn't actually max attack IV though, so we gotta keep that in mind. We did fail to net a few one-hit KOs earlier that we should have gotten, so that's something that we have to keep in mind for this battle right now. Alright then, okay, the DS name is Jules. I don't think I deleted the Jules. I'll check that again though, Ultimate Neko. I'll definitely try to give you a battle by tonight though. And for those of you guys who are new to the stream, we do have to hard end the stream at 9 o'clock. I usually end it at 8.30 if we get through everyone, but I'm going to end it at 9 o'clock always because I do have work the next day, and work is very tiring. So I'll need all my energy here. But let's take a look at our opponent's team. They've got the Mamo Swine. Alright, interesting. They've got the Mamo Swine. Um... I'm thinking Ahoy will be able to handle the Mammoth Swine so we can get rid of the rocks there. I think Ahoy is our best option right now. I'm still not sure about the Alakazam. I'm pretty sure the Alakazam is the Mega, and Mega Alakazam absolutely destroys any team with Ultra Beast. Because <laughs> the moment that that thing traces your um, Beast Boost, you're done. The moment Mega Alakazam traces Beast Boost, you're done basically. There's no survival there. Woo, got a shiny Donald Trump. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I have no idea which Pokemon that would be. I'm guessing it would be the... The... Young Goose, though. Alright, then. Let's get ready for a battle. And our opponent is going to send out the Mammoth Swine first, actually. So let's keep that in mind. Um, we are going to be able to wrap a spin the rocks away and pop the focus sash if that's what our opponent decides to do for turn one. And we can also tell that our opponent has... Um... Although if he goes for Ice Cold Crash flat out, I think he'll actually one-shot us. I think. We should be careful about that. Mm, I should have thought about that before I made this move here. I want to make sure this thing can't set up Stealth Rocks, though. Or should I live to spin again later? That's another thing I could do. Live to spin again later is a pretty valid option here. And if that thing does one-shot Ahoy, then we're, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, actually. Although, I don't think that thing can one-shot Ahoy without a Life Orb, though. I think? I don't know about this. We might have to run some calcs. Let's go run some calcs really fast. Alright, so, Mamo Swine. OU Wall Breaker, let's go with OU Wall Breaker. Okay, it is gonna be able to one shot us with an Ice Skull Crash, actually. That's only with Life Orb, though. If it doesn't have Life Orb, I can easily kill this thing back. Um, without a Life Orb, it's a guaranteed 2 at KO, actually. Let's go for a Rapid Spin here. Just to, in case, um, if this thing does one shot us, then we know for sure that this thing is not sashed. And... Alright, it is... It is sashed, okay. Oh, we flinched and couldn't pop the... Oh, no! Alright, um, we're in a lot of trouble right now. I don't think Delamize will get a chance to actually, um, do anything in response right now, so we're probably just gonna have to let this thing drop. And our opponent also has a Rapid Spinner, too. Yeah, I don't think we'll have another chance to set up, so... We're just gonna have to let this guy drop. I made the wrong move there. And our opponent does set up the Stealth Rocks this time, though. Alright, so here comes the Stealth Rocks. I could have actually Rapid Spin there again. <laughs> Alright, but here comes the Gyro Ball, though. Trying to do as much damage to the Mammoth Swine as possible. It does not actually go down to that. I probably should have went for the Power Whip, although I didn't want the Power Whip to whip miss at this point, so I just went straight for it. Uh, We're gonna have to let Hoy drop, I guess. There's no other options there. Uh, nothing on my team actually takes it well from this thing right now either, which is another problem that we have. And our opponent can easily rapid spin away anything that we try to place out against it. Do I let a Hoy drop? I kind of don't want to let a Hoy drop though. I feel like hey letting guys, a Hoy drop is going to be a terrible here. choice. And oh, and thank you very much for the follow, Sniper Red. I feel like I should really try my very best to preserve a Hoy right now. 
I feel like I really should try my very best to preserve a Hoi, although... It's just not gonna work out for us, is it? Whatever we switch in is gonna take massive damage. I haven't really fought a lot of Mammo signs, so I didn't actually think I would need anything to actually be able to take that thing on, but now that I'm looking back at this... Now that I'm looking back, this team is actually going to get wrecked by a Mammo Slime. Alright, we're gonna let a Hoy drop here. So, our opponent definitely wants to kill us right now. And here comes Ice Shard just like that. I'm going to guarantee the kill here. Goodbye, Ahoy. Alright, so our Anchormon is going to go down, and we aren't going to have many options against this thing. However, we will be able to send in Nilly over here, so Nilly is going to be able to set up some Stealth Rocks. Let's just try to get some residual Stealth Rocks off on this thing before, um... Before we actually go down here. We could also opt to, um... Kill the Mammoth Swine first, that's probably the smarter option here. <laughs> Let's kill the Mammoth Swine first, and then we'll set up the Stealth Rocks. Alright then, I want a white Christmas. Doesn't everyone? Doesn't everyone? I hate the cold. I like the cold. I feel like I would like the cold more than the heat, actually. Alright then, our opponent is gonna withdraw the Mammo Swine here and send out the Tapu Lili, actually. We are gonna set up the Stealth Rocks really fast right now. Well, not the Stealth Rocks first. We are gonna fire off the Sludge Bomb first. So here comes the Sludge Bomb, our opponent's gonna take that to the face and possibly die, actually, if they're not careful. And they are going to barely die. Now, I'm assuming this thing is Scarfed, otherwise our opponent wouldn't actually just switch in like that. And I'm assuming they're gonna be firing off a Moon Blast to try and do as much damage as possible to us. No, if they don't go for the Psychic, they won't kill. Yeah, if they don't go for the Psychic, they won't kill. I think they have to go for the Moon Blast here. I mean, they have to go for the Psychic here. Right? We still have not set up our rocks, though. I really want my rocks up. Hmm. I'm sorry I'm not paying much, much attention to chat right now. Today's people have been giving me some really hard battles today, so I've got to really focus on what I'm doing here. Um... Predict the Psychic, or expect me to switch out to Guzzlord. Okay, I'm just gonna predict the Psychic here. Pretty sure our opponent has to use the Psychic, otherwise they won't do any damage to us with that Moon Blast. And I'm assuming this thing is Scarfed, so our opponent can't actually just keep spamming that attack here. So let's come on in with Cow. And our opponent is gonna fire off the Psychic here. And gonna be forced to switch out. I don't know what our opponent's gonna switch out into, though. Uh, out of all the things that my opponent could switch out into, it would probably be... Yeah, this thing's definitely Choice Scarf. No one's insane enough to send the Tapu Lili in onto a Nihiligo, right? I doubt it. I don't think anyone would be insane enough to do that. Could you imagine if this thing was not actually Scarfed? And I could have actually just, like, slaughtered that thing right there on the spot? <laughs> that would be so disappointing to me. Alright, let's see what our opponent does, though. Our opponent is going to withdraw Tapu Lili, so it's definitely Scarfed Lili. And send in the Tyrena. We are going to be firing out Devastating Drake here to one-shot this thing here. If we can get off the one-shot, we will be able to get off our rocks without any problems from this point onwards. So we're going to try our very best to one-shot this thing right now. So here comes Devastating Drake. Let's see what our opponent tries to do. Alright then. Canada for life. Canada for life, eh? All hot at Christmas, all hot at Christmas. I would hate it for it to be hot in Christmas, actually. That would be, like, the worst. Alright, our opponent's arena is actually going to be able to survive that, surprisingly. I guess that thing is maxed out in special defense to take hits from the Heligo. That's the only thing I can think of right now. And that thing will one-shot us with a, um... With a high jump kick, probably. Actually. Actually, do I need Guzzlord to take anything else? No, I do need to kill the, um, Arcanine here. Yeah, I do need to kill the Arcanine. I can't just, like, let this thing drop like that. Um... I'm gonna go send in the Taco, Bo the Taco Bolo here. Let's see this guy take the hit. I think he should be able to take it fairly well. So, come on in, Taco Bolo. And we're gonna take a little bit of Stealth Rocks damage like that. Hopefully we don't have to take it too much further. I do really want to rapid spin that away as fast as possible right now. Our opponent is going to U-turn onto us here, trying to do... 
I could have actually probably um, did a lot of damage to whatever he decided to send out afterwards. However, our opponent is going to be sending in the... Probably Arcanine. I can't see anything other than Arcanine coming in against my Taco Bolo here. Oh, I get up to negative 12 here in Australia. That sounds awesome, actually. I would love it to be that cold. Um, hey, Ronar, who is next? Um, depends on who's online first, but um, you can always check to see here. It is in the order of the white, um, the white list, and the, the blue list goes first for whoever's still online from yesterday, because the blue list represents people who didn't get their battles from yesterday. And then after that comes the white list. And then the yellow list is people who already got their battles, so they're going to be postponed until we get everything else done. Um, there is the Mammo Swine, actually. Mammo Swine will be able to probably do a ton of damage to us. <sighs> I don't like the Mammo Swine. I hate the Mammo Swine. <sighs> ah, the Mammo Swine's disgusting. I don't want to send out Cartana yet. I want to keep that thing ready, but... I want that thing's focus sash intact right now. That's what I really want. I might just let Taco Bolo drop here because Taco Bolo can't actually do anything for the team besides... I mean, it does hit like a truck, but... I think I'm gonna let Taco Bolo drop here. No matter what, we're gonna take a lot of damage with the Ice Skull Crash, so... Yeah, let's let Taco Bolo drop here. We are gonna stay in, our opponent's gonna fire off the Ice Skull Crash, and we are going to go down just like that. So, goodbye Taco Bolo, you served us well, but not well enough here. Um, with that really early attempt at a prediction there, I did kind of butcher my um, chances at winning this battle here, but we are able to put up a kind of decent battle here. We did make some decent predictions like the Tapu Lili switch in here. So we still have some sort of chance. I am going to send out Nilly right now because I really want Nilly to be able to get off the Stealth Rocks. Um, could also just let Nilly kill whatever he's going to do right now. I could kill the Mammoth Swine right now and it would cease to be a problem. I think that'd be the smarter option right now, actually. Um, I need to be able to deal with... Well, Lili will die for sure if I throw out the Stealth Rocks, so that's actually pretty good. Yeah, let's send out the Stealth Rocks now. Alright, our opponent is going to withdraw Mammoth Swine and send in the Lili one last time before that thing expires here. So, here comes the Psychic Surge. We are going to be sending out Stealth Rocks once more, and there we go. Let's see what our opponent does in response right now. Um, that thing will have to use Psychic if it wants to be able to kill me here. Although, he might predict the cow coming in this time. Do I need Lili right now? Alright, it's going to be 50-50 for me to win this one. <sighs> I really need to know whether or not what attack he's going to go for, though. We are very far behind, and we really have to start killing whatever he brings in. I think he's going to go for the Moon Blast, though, this time. Oh, he is going to go for the Moon Blast! Perfect! Alright, we stayed in, and we're going to be able to take that hit. And Nilly will definitely survive. Here comes the Sludge Bomb, and that thing will go down just like this. We're going to be able to get off a Beast Boost here, and the Tapu Lili is going to go down. However, with that, our opponent is going to be able to send out the Alakazam, and the Alakazam is going to be a huge threat to our team. I don't know if there's anything that we can do in response to that thing. Um, we definitely can't let that thing get the Trace off, though. So here comes the Alakazam. I think that thing's going to sweep our team. There's not really much we can do at this point besides just take the hits. And I'm pretty sure that thing will one-shot me. Alakazam is really good against Ultra Beast. It, if it traces the Beast Boost, it basically sleeps the entire team. <sighs> There's nothing we can do right now. If that, especially if that thing knows the Dazzling Gleam, we're definitely dead. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Uh, Alright, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a GG to our opponent, though. Um, if our opponent sends in... Hmm... I think our only hope of winning right now is if we sack this guy here. 
We can't let this thing get off the trace. If this thing gets off the trace, we're done. Alright, so let's bring back Nilly over here. And send out the Hoenn hey really fast. We have a new follower today. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Ghostly Shadow. Johnson. Really appreciate it. Alright, we are going to take the Stealth Rocks there. And we will definitely not be able to survive whatever this thing has to throw at us. Pretty sure it's a Mega Alakazam. Yep, here comes the Mega Evolution. And it is going to be able to trace our Drizzle. Do not want to give this thing um anything else. So, whether or not we can still battle depends on whether or not this thing knows Dazzling Gleam. This thing will be able to trace our Drizzle. However, we should be able to make it through this part. Gonna be a substitute user. Interesting. Interesting, a substitute user. Huh. Huh. Well, that's some interesting information. Is that actually meta, or is that just like some of his own tech there? Not sure what we can do about this right now. Is this gonna, like, start calm minding? No, it's just gonna fire off a psychic and slaughter us here. Alright, Pelipper is going to go down from that. Goodbye, Pelipper. Now then, um, I think our only choice of winning at this point is two things. This thing can't learn Focus Blast. And if it does, it has to miss. And it can't learn Dazzling Gleam. It probably knows one of those two. So we gotta pray that this thing misses twice in a row right now. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna lose. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose either way, but... Oh, it definitely does know the guys in Gleam. And that is going to be GG here. Good game to our opponent. And we are down. Alright, Cow is definitely going to go down. And that is going to be the battle. You know... No, I wouldn't have won no matter what. Substitute was his best option. If I switched out the Pelipper, then he would have gotten the Substitute off. If I stayed in, I killed the Substitute. He goes back and kills Nilly anyways. There's nothing I could do about that. Yeah, good game to our opponent though. Uh, whoops. Let's just go end this battle right now really fast. And we don't have the Focus Sash on Kartana anymore because the rocks were set up there. I think um, the mistake I made with this battle is just playing so carelessly early on. I should have definitely not just let my anchor thing go down that fast. My Rapid Spinner was really key. In fact, I shouldn't have even sent that thing out knowing that Mamoswan was going first. I don't know what I was thinking there, but... I kind of underestimated Mamoswan because I hadn't had too much problems with Mamoswans before, but this is my first time actually getting in trouble with one, so... I think I need to be a lot more careful when I'm constructing my teams here. Gotta keep in mind the Mamoswine leads. And that is gonna be good game to our opponent though. Good game, Doom Omega. Lots of fun tonight. We're getting a lot of really strong opponents. And I'm pretty happy about that actually. Alright, but let's go look for our next opponent right now. Next opponent is going to be... Either Ultimate Neko or Beast Mode, they were both here last night. And if they're not online, then we're going to be battling the next person who is online. Uh, let me just take a look here really fast, just to make sure the people who are currently signed up weren't from last time. Alright, besides Beast Mode and Ultimate Neko, everyone here is new. Alright, but good game to our opponent.